What is going on guys? This is Zach with Hook and Timber Outdoors and I'm with my new friend Victor. What's up? I um, reached out to Victor a couple days ago to see if he wanted to uh, go fishing and uh, basically broaden his knowledge on the river so this is where we're at today right below Buford Dam. Gonna be walking back a little bit and uh, hopefully get into some good fish. We should be able to uh, do so. So just stay tuned for us and we'll uh, turn it back on whenever we get to the uh, river for you guys. Follow it back downstream. Mend that little bit up and follow it back down. Good. Perfect. Do it again. Oh, that, that. that little bump. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. That was, that was really quick. I don't even think I had time for Well, that. I think that was a rock because, yeah. don't get me wrong, it could have been a fish, but yeah. that's just one of those you just got to go for it. It's all right. Go ahead and throw it upstream. Perfect. Now throw that little bit up too. And fall it back down. Nice. That was a good drift. Do it again. That was a good cast. Let it sit there for a second. Now throw it up. Throw it up. It's a beautiful day on the river, guys. Always a beautiful day on the river. I'm gonna see if we can't uh, catch some urine nymphing. I've got a uh, hook and timber exclusive on right now. I'll show you guys, see if you guys can uh, pick it up in the camera. This is called a golden hair. I'll have to uh, show you guys later how to fly tying tutorial on it. And the last one I have is a woolly booger with some CDC. So hopefully this will uh, catch you some fish. Finally. Yeah. He's a little swimmer. Holy cow, this is a really deep hole. Yeah. Sure is. First one of the day. Come on, dude, you're squirmy today. Good old Chattahoochee rainbow. Okay, nice, nice. Now I'm uh... a little motivated? Yeah. Good, you should be. There's uh, plenty more where that came from, especially in this riffle. I, I've I saw a few already right um, directly in front of me, right here. I'm stripping a, my woolly booger across, and um, I saw him come out underneath that rock and, and nail it. So hopefully, we'll see if we can uh, get one more. He smashed it. I saw him flash at it. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Keep the rod tip up, rod tip up. All right, if he goes to play, just let him play. As in, barely let go of the line, but rod tip up. Now, get it here and strip in from the bottom. I'm really scared of pulling okay. in because I'm, I think I'm going to lose 
lose. No, you're not. You're not. If I lose, I'm gonna be so. No, sick. you're not. It's okay. All right. Play a little bit. Sh sh strip up. Strip in again. Just keep your rod tip up. I'm gonna net him for you. You got a good one. Oh, come here, buddy. Ah! Oh, jeez, I fell. I fell. <laughs> that was a ledge. Is that a brown? That's a rainbow. Oh, man, I just hurt my ankle on that one. That's funny. No, that's fine. Good job, man. Nice. Good job. That's awesome. That was... Wait. How did I... How, how did I know I had a fish? Did you know I had a fish? I did. I was trying to get you to set the hook. But, see, that's whenever you got to... You just got to pay attention to the very end, because on the swing... Really take a picture of this? No, we'll definitely take a picture. It's your first well, trout, man. Oh, he took the... He took the pink uh, bead pheasant tail. I'm sorry, hare's ear. Yay! Yeah, I don't want to keep him out too long. Nah, we're, he's, got, he's in the water, so he's fine. Hold this for a second, I'm going to pop the fly out. Yeah. Or did it just... It actually just came out. Okay, we're did fine. It? Yeah. So, let me see your phone. Should I take a picture with him? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just tuck that between, hold the net. Hey, fishy, fishy. Yay. Uh, let's see here. Hopefully he doesn't pop One, right. two, right. Yeah. three. I'm taking a few, so look up. I'm awesome. pretty happy. I told you, man. You just got to stay persistent. I told you you are going to catch a fish. Nice little guy. Nice job. Yay. Awesome. Here's your phone back. Thanks. High five again, man. That's that's awesome. Caught his first trout on the fly. I told him he <laughs> did was you so. Did that whole thing? I did. I sure did. He was Thanks. so upset because we haven't been catching too much. I've caught a few so far, but. Have you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. How many? I've gotten three so far. Dang, I didn't even know you got that. Yeah. Too. I was trying to be quiet about it. I didn't want you to. Nah, get down or anything me. so but yeah he just caught his first trout on the fly how awesome is that that yeah, is yeah, yeah. so cool that was the first official that is true that is true he mentioned earlier that um, last week or so he had uh, gotten one on the hook but it came off about halfway and he never touched it so he said he didn't count that one so yeah let's, let's sling it out there let's do it again sounds like I'll be staying in the spot so, the rest of the trip <laughs> so yeah so you're finally uh happy now he was all down and out heck he got tangled up about four different times over there i felt bad for him and he said he was going to tie it on himself so i could fish that's awesome man Ooh. okay how do you feel good <laughs> ah, okay now that i'm awake again <laughs> did you tell me to set or did i set it honestly I think, told me. I think i may have told you but Regardless, you still did all the work, and that's awesome. That's a good drift. That's a good drift. Next time, just mend up a little bit before you let it go all the way down there. So on the swing, uh, so on the swing, this is a swing right now. Yeah. See how it's starting to go under a little bit right yeah. there? That was, you know, just a drag and whatnot causing it to go under. But that's the swing whenever it swings back around. And a lot of times, it'll act, the, the flies will act like a, a little emerging nymph. So yeah. they'll start rising up like that. And that's whenever a lot of times the trout will... Like yeah, the, I like definitely the got it. I definitely got it at the end of it, right? Exactly, you did. Yep. So like, I thought it was just like on a rock or something again. That's why hook sets are free. That's an important tip to remember, guys. Hook sets are free. They don't cost anything, so well, they're so free good. to take. Take as many as you want. You'll never know if you don't set the hook. All right, we're gonna get back to fishing. Hopefully, uh, Victor's gonna catch him another one. Get back upstream. It's a brown. Get back upstream, dude. Come back up here. Get back up here. Skin on top of the water. Pretty brown. Pretty brown. On the blue assassin. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Look at the... Give him some water. Give him a breath. He has a blue little cheek, almost. Golly. 
Oh, that's so pretty. Georgia fish are so gorgeous. Beautiful. See you, buddy. The blue assassin. pretty fun. I know that um, Victor had a good time. He was really excited. He finally caught his first uh, trout on a fly rod. Caught it on a uh, hare's ear pattern that I tie with a pink bead on it. Um, trout hit it on the swing, which was pretty cool. But um, yeah, he did good. He did good for his first. This is like his... I'm not too sure. He's only been fly fishing for maybe five or six times he's only had his fly reel for about a week or two at most and uh, he doesn't have any waders so you know I let him borrow our, my waders and whatnot we went on the river and um, he was thrilled it was it was great it was an awesome opportunity just to um, be able to take him it's always a good opportunity to be on the river so yeah that was great I know that um, I did spend most of my time you know, helping him out and um, guiding him and just, you know, give some tips and whatnot as far as casting goes, mending the line and, and uh, doing the water hole cast and um, a couple different knots. He knew most of the knots, but just a little bit of um, information that he can take with him and next time, you know, he gets on the river and um, he can pass it along to someone else. So, but yeah, we are on our way home probably going to actually stop by Zaxby's first because I'm, I'm pretty hungry. Zaxby's sounds really good. Some good chicken. Man, I, f I feel bad for you guys who don't have Zaxby's in, in the state that you live in. Or heck, even Chick-fil-A. Yeah, Chick-fil-A sounds good, but Zaxby's since I'm already right here. So yeah, appreciate you guys watching the uh, video and stay tuned for the uh, next episode. Have a good one. Uh, no, thank you. Can I get the big Zach snack meal, please, with a uh, Coke to drink? Sorry, you said big Zach snack with Coke? Correct. Anything else? Um, instead of the Zach sauce, can I get honey mustard, please? Yes, sir. And also, can I get um, an extra side of honey mustard? Yes. And that should do it. 666 is your total. We'll be happy to serve you at the window. Thank you. Cannot wait to eat some Zaxby's. I'm starving. So hungry. Being on the river tires you out. And in the sun. It's finally been sunny today. What's the weather? 66 degrees right now. We haven't had that in forever and it's in February. That's insane. <laughs>